my name is Michelle Lande. The day today is uh, May 30th, 2019. This is my week four video for uh, biochemical testing for microbes identification, methyl, Vogue's, Proscure, and I already did the other one earlier. Catalyst testing. So um, I've already got my, I did my MVR, MRVP bras, which actually have 0.5% glucose in them, and I've already let them sit the cultures for 48 hours. I've distributed them evenly in uh, my E. coli and my S. epidermitis test tubes, which I let sit in alcohol and dry off. Uh, my work area is clean. I'm wearing my PPE. Uh, this testing, the first one I'm going to do is the methyl red testing. This is going to identify microbes that perform mixed acid fermentation. Um, they're anaerobic, metabolic pros, pros, process. Um, what happens is when this happens, it produces uh, lactic acid, acidic acid, uh, ethanol, carbon dioxide, and uh, hydrogen. So hydrogen gas, actually, that's a lot of stuff going on. So the first test here, I have my uh, red methyl. And I'm going to pour one in my E. coli, one in my S. epidermis, and that's going to uh, be a very immediate response. Um, red is a positive for a mixed acid fermentation microbe, and uh, like a yellowish color is a negative. So I have my handy dandy scissors here. I'm going to cut the tip off there, and I need to do seven drops in each one. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven. All right, so the red's just kind of staying on top on that one, on my um, epidermitis. Um, let's see how the E. coli goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're going to set that very carefully over here so we don't mess up the table. Um, if you look, they're both red. Uh, the E. coli is really uh, taking in the red color a lot faster, so that is a positive result. And I'm, this, the red's just sitting on top for the epidermis, so it's not mixing well at all, but it would look like a positive result to me on that one. All right, so they are, both microbes are mixed acid fermentation. All right, so the next one is actually gonna take me, not much time to show you, but it's going to take me a while to uh, let them sit for 30 minutes. I will have to upload those by my picture in my, um, assignment. So this is going to be for the Vogus Proscure for IDing microbes. Um, this is going to ID microbes that ferment in glucose by the, excuse me, uh, but butane, butanol uh, pathways. Um, basically these, uh, if it's a, a red positive after the 30 minutes, it's, uh, it's um, a butanol from fermentation, uh, makes mixed acids, um, like acetone, it's an acetone. Um, both of these tests, though, by the way, are performed at the same time, so you can tell the difference of the bacteria that is in the uh, Enterobacteria Cs families. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I really like it. But I'm gonna get to showing you how to do this. So first one is the Barrett's A. I'm gonna cut the top off here, and then I gotta do twelve in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I'm gonna do twelve in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and then I also gotta do Barrett's B. So we're gonna cut the top off, and this is only gonna be four drops in each one. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Oh, man down. All right, so I'm going to swirl these around for 30 seconds, 
And then I'm going to uh, upload the pictures because I don't think uh, you guys want to wait 30 minutes with me to see the results. I am curious to see what happens to see if it's going to be positive. So if it's a red, it's positive. If it's like a yellow, it's a negative. All right, well, that is my uh, week four video for my uh, methyl red testing, my bogus, and my proscure testing. I will uh, put more in my um, reflection on this one. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye.